Well, welcome back. We are watching Jackson Hole, Wyoming this week as the Federal Reserve's annual symposium kicks off today. Edward Lawrence is live at the summit where he interviewed Kansas City Federal Reserve President Esther George. Edward, over to you. Yeah, good morning, Maria. Yeah, the big topics here, inflation and rate hikes. As you said, I talked with Kansas City Federal Reserve President Esther George yesterday. She says that she sees rate hikes through the end of this year. The embargo on that full conversation ends right now. Listen. I haven't decided 50 or 75. And for me, uh, this hasn't been the most important question um, in terms of thinking about really the path. And the path is what I think is going to be important for the public to understand that we are on a process of tightening policy to bring inflation down, to get these imbalances that we see in the economy today in a better place. When you say path, are you looking at the end of this year? Are you looking beyond end of next year? What are you talking about when you say path? So I think in a practical sense, you're looking through the end of this year to see where you'll be. But I think more generally what we're saying is we have to see the federal funds rate reach a point where inflation begins to meaningfully decelerate because we can't really know what is the point at which a resting point will be. And so it's why you are always looking at what are the signs along the way in the economy that are telling us that policy is having its intended effect. So uh, one of the causes of inflation, according to the Fed minutes, was is fiscal spending, is government spending, in addition to supply chain issues as well as the Ukraine issue. Um, if can the rate hikes alone get inflation under control if the government continues to pass fiscal spending? So I think when you think about how we got where we are, so again, tremendous fiscal support went out to the economy at the time the Federal Reserve also was being aggressive with monetary policy. You got a spike in demand, and it happened to come right at the time that supply chains uh, were having problems. And so that's the imbalance that I'm focused on, is to say, when do you begin to see that demand cooling? Because, of course, we can't fix the supply chain issues, but we can affect demand. And that's really uh, where I think we have to be focused right now, is bringing that in line. But is the fiscal spending working against what you guys are trying to do? So I think fiscal spending um, is going to be a component of how we think about the broader economy. Again, there are many factors out there that we see today that are driving the imbalance that we see in the economy. And Esther George tells me that she has not seen inflation peak yet. That full interview is on our website, foxbusiness.com. Maria? All right, Edward, thanks very much. Edward Lawrence joining us in Jackson Hole this morning where the action is heating up.